Now let's try to hook up that action creator we made to our application. First off, we'll need to do some setting up with our input field and button. We'll need to add some state to the component so that way we recognize what the user types in the text field. So let's add a constructor with props. Remember we need super props as a first line. We'll initialize some state as an object. We'll have a text of blank for now. And then on the input field, we'll use our familiar on change function. And just like before, we'll have an event variable actually. And we'll set the state of our text to event dot target dot value. Next, let's define an add reminder helper method within our application so that we can simply console.log the state for now. Let's say add reminder. And this function will simply log the state, this.state. And let's attach it to this button click. So on click equals this.add reminder. Cool. So let's see, let's say I have to buy groceries, add reminder, and there we go. We have our text as buy groceries in state. Great, now that we see our text logging, we can move on to connecting our component to our store and the action creator we created. To connect to our store in this component, we'll need to take advantage of React Redux's connect function. So we'll import the connect function from React Redux. This connect function works by hooking up two functions to React component. It first connects a map states to props function and a map dispatch to props function. We won't have to think about map state to props yet, but we will write a function called map dispatch to props right now because we'd like to hook up our add reminder action creator to our application. So before we do that, however, let's import add reminder from our actions. As we save, it'll reload. And then at the very bottom, after our component, let's define a map dispatch to props function. Map dispatch to props. And it's very simply camel cased just like this. So in map dispatch to props, we'll need to bind the action creator to this application. And to do so, we'll need a specific function called bind action creators. Let's import that now. Import bind action creators from the regular Redux library. And I'm gonna move this above add reminder. Awesome. Now let's declare that special map dispatch to props function and pass the dispatch argument. And then we're going to return the bind action creators function that we just imported. Here, as the first argument, we'll have an object with our add reminder function, as well as the dispatch as a second argument. So bear with me here. I know this looks very complicated, this function right here, but it will make clear sense once it's all hooked up and we begin to use it. So there we go. Now we need to connect it to our component. We'll call the connect function from Redux. Remember, our first argument should be map state to props, but we don't have that defined yet, so we'll call it nil. But we do have a map dispatch of props, so we'll argue it here. And then we'll have our app component finally hooked up. Let's save. And then within add reminder, while I'm also logging the state, I also want to see props, so let's just take out state and log all of this because I want to see this.props so that way we can see if add reminder actually mapped to our component. So let's say once again we have to buy groceries. And check it out. We have a props object, and in our props object, we now have our add reminder function from bind action creators. Let's check out our actions once again to see how add reminder works. Remember, we only need to pass text to the add reminder function. 
So within our addReminder helper method, let's call this.props.addReminder and pass our state text. Let's remove this console log. Let's save. And let's see what happens. Whoa, we have an action in add reminder of type add reminder text by groceries. And check it out, our reducer also logged since it recognized the action, a whole new array as state, including our object with an ID of a random ID and our text as groceries. Looks like Redux is working. Awesome. Let's review what actually happened with map dispatch to props then. What map dispatch to props essentially does is it binds the action creators that we create to the overall dispatch function throughout our whole React Redux application. It makes it accessible as props within this specific component when we call the connect feature. Now there's a little shortcut we can do. Since we're only adding add reminder, instead of having a whole map dispatch to props function, I can simply have an object here and place add reminder as my key and value and take out map dispatch of props entirely. We'll save. Wait for it to reload. Let's do buy groceries once more. And you'll notice that it still works. And now we don't even need to import bind action creators. So let's take it out. It's a nice little shortcut that Redux provides for us. Cool. Now let's move on to actually adding map state to props so that we can update the Redux state with our action and recognize it on our user interface. Excellent work.